Today in our first show of the season, one of our contestants could possibly win the keys to a brand new Infiniti Q50 plus $5,000 in cash. That's right, a new car and 5Gs. You won't want to miss it. Next on Winning Golf. Winning Golf. Once we play, this one's got a chance. Nailed it. Short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Cause we're winning golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Winning golf is brought to you by SAP. Enable your business to run simple with SAP. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today our first show of the season comes to you from the spectacular White Manor Country Club. And boy oh boy, today's show is packed with excitement. We have thrilling contests, some great prizes to give away, valuable instruction, and a very talented group hosted by Shorn Construction. And speaking of hosting, here's my good friend Joe Shorn. Joe, first of all, thank you for bringing such a talented group out here today. And second, I believe we have a very special day ahead of us here at beautiful White Manor Country Club. Hey Doug, we're excited about being here for our fifth year in a row. The course looks great, the weather's perfect. I do think we might have a grand champion in this group today. Well, thank you, Joe. We certainly hope so. And guys, are you ready for our first contest of the season? Yeah! Awesome. I love that enthusiasm. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a group chipping contest. And I'm so excited because the prize is a beautiful Adams three wood. And I want to give this prize away. So we're all going to chip at the same time from 75 feet. Whoever winds up close to the hole will win the three wood. Sound great? Perfect. Yeah. Let's get ready to chip. Well, the Shorn Construction Group is ready. One, two, three, chip. 16 balls coming towards the hole. Balls are flying everywhere. It looks like one's very close. It's got a chance to go in. Look at that shot. Let's see who our winner is, number three, Brian Miles. Brian, congratulations. Excellent, Excellent shot from 75 feet. And as promised, here's your brand new Adams Threewood. I hope you enjoyed the contest. Thank you, it was great. It was great, having a great time. Awesome. Well, we have a lot of fun ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host and championship facility, the beautiful White Manor Country Club. White Manor Country Club, a private club located in the rolling hills of southern Chester County, opened its doors in 1962 when it purchased 170 acres of magnificent land from the Evans family. This historic property, with numerous striking views, was originally owned by William Penn. Today, White Manor is where you will find one of the country's most beautiful and challenging golf courses. In fact, Golf Week magazine recently voted it number three ranked modern design golf course and number 14 overall course in Pennsylvania. Redesigned and renovated in 2003 by renowned and award-winning designer Bobby Weed, this 18-hole jewel is scenic, playable, and always in pristine condition. Bobby Weed was able to come, in, come here and really improve every hole on the golf course. He did a complete redesign without changing the routing. All the holes are in the same place they were before, but every tee, fairway, bunker, and green has been rebuilt and improved. It's just a much more interesting golf course that plays well to all types of players, from novice players to expert players. The course, which stretches to 7,000 yards from the tips, offers five sets of tees, which makes it player friendly for golfers of all levels. Along with the first class golf course, the manor features state of the art practice facilities, which include an all weather driving range with seven target greens and a two hole practice area, which allows you to perfect all areas of the important short game. As for playing the course, in addition to electric carts, the golf operation offers an enjoyable walking experience by providing a vibrant caddy program. The golf pro shop is well stocked and offers the latest and greatest in fashion and equipment. The golf staff provides first class service and teams up with instructional guru John Dunnigan to provide top level instructional programs for adults and juniors. Along with the programming from our director of instruction, John Dunnigan, myself and my assistants do provide different levels of instruction ranging from beginner to advanced and hitting different subsets of the membership as well. Of course, White Manor's amenities don't stop with the golf course. The club also offers a well-maintained and heated pool, a two-mile walking trail, as well as outstanding tennis facilities, including six fast, dry, 
hard shoe courts, and a fully equipped fitness center to keep you in top form. Last, but certainly not least, is the beautiful clubhouse. This newly renovated facility is the ideal setting for any social or corporate event. Whether it's a business meeting for 10 or 200, or a social party for 25 to 250, the White Manor staff will be happy to accommodate you. Staff with a professional event planner and a award-winning chef, your events will be planned flawlessly and the menu will be executed to perfection. After our million dollar renovation of our bank facility, really um, are welcoming outside banquets, whether it be a bar mitzvah, wedding, or a meeting of any kind. We have an excellent team that facilitate hosting amateur, top amateur, and professional events with our golf staff and food and beverage team. For the membership, a wide variety of dining experiences are provided along with several dining venues. Whether it's a fine dining experience, special occasion or a wedding, golf outing, holiday party or corporate meeting, you can trust the White Manor staff to do it right every time. White Manor welcomes any prospective member wishing to join a first class club as well as experience the diversity and community feeling of its present membership. With an average age in the mid-40s, White Manor offers the perfect environment for casual family life. If interested in membership or planning a once-in-a-lifetime event, please call 610-647-1070 or check out the web at whitemanorcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Ron Amon. Craig Howe, Ryan Miles, Bruce Cavan, Howard Liebold, Jim Friss, Joe Shorn, Steve Janik, Ian Kramer, Chris Webb, Robert Amon, Jim Flack, Clint Weldon, Gene Yarnold, Ray McCausland, Andrew Stump. First up for our players is the SAP Run Simple Challenge. Enable your business to run simple with SAP. My friends at SAP believe whether you're a large company or a small company, SAP will enable your business to run simple. In other words, SAP simply eliminates complexity. When coaching, I like to keep things simple. So for today's SAP Run Simple Challenge, there are three simple parts. Number one, I'm going to give you a very valuable tip in the bunker. Number two, Jim Flat's going to put my tip into action. And part three is the SAP Run Simple Challenge where all of you will hit this bunker shot and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. How about two tickets to a Flyers game and a suite thanks to SAP? Sound awesome? Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the setup for a bunker shot. Most instructional magazines will ask you to do three things. Number one, they'll ask you to keep your weight forward. Number two, they'll ask you to keep your head still. And number three, ask you to hit two inches behind the golf ball. Now, I have a lot of students that get into this setup in front of me. Unfortunately, they often hit the ball first rather than the sand. Why does this happen? It happens because with your weight forward and keeping your head still, it's impossible to hit behind the golf ball. So what happens is that players come down at a steep angle and hit the ball first, it flies over the green. The only way from this setup that I could get behind that golf ball is to shift my weight or sway back into my right side. The last thing I want to do in the bunker is move around. I'm trying to hit a specific spot. So what is the simple solution? Well, here it is. I do move my weight forward, but only in my lower body. My weight is in my front hip, but my upper body, my spine, sits slightly behind the ball. Coincidentally, about two inches behind the ball, right where I want my club to hit the sand. From this position, I can turn over my spot, hit my spot, and not move my head at all. Make sense, everybody? So you want to set yourself up. Your upper body is not over your lower body. Here's the mistake. The lower body is forward. The upper body sits back here. This also allows the club to slide through the sand rather than hitting steeply down into it. If there's no other questions, I'd love to bring Jim flat up. Jim, how about a nice applause for Jim? Thank you for helping us out with this tip, Jim. All right, let's uh, get into your setup. Wall forward in your stance, right? Yes. Let's open that club face. Open that stance a little bit. Okay. All right, now, here's the key. I want you to bump a little weight into that front hip for me, all right? And feel like your upper body's sitting a little behind the ball. Gotcha. Now, from here, you don't have to move. You simply turn 
hit your spot and finish facing the target. Okay, stay very still, and here we go. Look at this shot, guys. Look at that golf shot. You're a great student. I hope you had a wonderful time. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, guys, are you ready for the SAP Run Simple Challenge? Yes. Let's do it. Our SAP Run Simple Challenge features a 20-yard greenside bunker shot. Ian Kramer played it safely to about 12 feet. Right on the back side of the green, and well done. Brian Miles showed how simple it can be with this effort to nine and a half feet. Robert Amon paid attention to Doug's tip. That's a terrific touch by Robert Amon. Robert, well done, buddy. That's seven and a half feet away. Craig Howe makes a run at the tickets with this gem to six feet. Craig Howe with an unbelievable bunker shot. But Jim Friss steals the prize by a few inches. What a shot by Jim Friss. <laughs> Jim, that was an incredible bunker shot inside of six feet. Now you know. You've already won two tickets to a Flyers game in a suite. My question to you right now is, Jim, would you be interested in adding some cash to those Flyers tickets? Absolutely. <laughs> well, Jim, you may have that opportunity when winning golf returns. Can a business have a mind, a subconscious, a knack for predicting the future? Reflexes faster than the speed of thought. Can a business have a spirit? Can a business have a soul? Can a business be alive? Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at P.J. Wellahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. This is Hyperflex from FootJoy. A shoe like nothing you've seen before and built to perform at your highest level. Hyperflex, step into the next big thing. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, and e-commerce solutions. Tika Sport Leather, it's how you finish the wardrobe. And by P.J. Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at P.J.'s. Outerwear provided by FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up, FootJoy. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, you ready to puff for some cash? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, here's the deal. Our wonderful host, Joe Shorn, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then come forward and pull out two envelopes. One will be for the distance of the putt, one will be for the amount of cash we're putting for. Sound great? Yeah. yeah. Joe Shore, you're on stage. Who's our lucky contestant here at White Manor Country Club? Anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. You won't believe this, but how about Steve Janik? <laughs> what are the odds? Come on up here, Steve. Come around this side. If you would, Steve, let's pull an envelope out of here right away for us, please. All right, there you go. What distance do we have? I'm a little nervous here, Doug, because yes. it's a big putt. This is a big putt. 35, 35. feet. Nice. All right. Uh, that's the one I wanted, Doug. Now the all-important cash. That's a very, very makeable putt, Steve. Now the all-important uh, cash. All here we go. Cash. Rip that baby open. $1,000 to $5,000. What does he have? $1,000, everybody. Ready to win some cash? That's great, Doug. I'm ready to win. I certainly want to mention that this exciting putting contest is sponsored by our friends from U.S. Hole and One Insurance. Steve Janik is putting from 35 feet for $1,000. Here it comes. It's got a good line. We'll get to the hole. It's got a chance. What a great effort by Steve Janik. Well done, Steve. Well, Steve Janik, congratulations. You gave it a great effort. You're about a foot from the hole. I hope you had a good time. Thanks, Doug. It was great. It was great putt. It was a lot of fun. 
Well, thank you, Steve. Well, we didn't give away the cash this week, but the great news is we still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one, a chip shot with a slight left to right break. Bruce Cavan handled it well. Bruce Cavan with a nice effort. Well done, Bruce. Craig Howe dances his ball to a respectable eight and a half feet. That's winning golf right there. Howard Liebold is a few inches better. Howard Liebold with a pitching wedge. Pretty good effort by Howard. Well done, buddy. But the shot of the round belongs to Clint Weldon. This is going towards the hole. This one's got a chance to go in. Nine inches away to take the prize. Up first in round two is Andrew Stump. Going right at that. This one's got a chance to be very close. Look at that touch by Andrew Stump. Joe Shorn shows off his short game skills. This is going to be next to the hole, and that's a terrific effort by Joe Shorn. Ron Amon pitches it well. Ron Amon with a 56 degree wedge, and this is a beautiful soft touch. A nice shot by Ron Amon. Gene Yarnell's ball finds its way to seven and a half feet. Bringing it up high and soft with a pitching wedge, and that is a great touch by Gene. Howard Liebold is looking good with this effort to four feet eight inches. And look at this touch by Howard Liebold. What a student. But Steve Janik wows them all with this magnificent shot to less than three feet away. And that is a terrific touch by Steve Janik. Well done, Steve. Round three is our putting contest. Ray McCausland is the first to tackle this 30-foot putt. Check out Steve Janik. With a great setup, a great stroke. It's coming in from right to left. If this gets there, it's in the hole. Steve Janik, it's in the hole. Steve Janik. He sinks it, but the fun continues with Chris Webb. Great setup. Great stroke, should come in towards the hole. This one's got a chance. Chris Webb, it's got a chance. It's in the hole. In the hole. Joe Shorn has no problem finding the cup. Our host Joe Shorn with a great setup, great speed. This could come in the top side. It's in the hole. Joe Shorn drains it from 30 feet. And Jim Friss adds his magic touch. The line looks good, the speed looks good. Will this drop in the hole? It's got a chance. Jim Friss, it's in the hole. Wow, that's four in the hole. Jim Flat says I can do that too, and he sinks it. The speed looks good, the line looks good. It's in the hole. Unbelievable. Now that's winning golf. Flat wins the round in a putt off. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. On the tee today, I would like to share with you the correct way to open your club face for a greenside bunker shot. Unfortunately, many players open it incorrectly. Lots of golfers grip the club and then roll their wrist to open the face. Now the face will stay open on the backswing. On a downswing, your wrist will tend to roll back and close the club face. Two bad things can happen. Number one, the leading edge will hit the sand and dig, probably leaving your ball right in front of you. Number two, even if I get it out with a closed club face, it's going to come out low and hot and run over the other side of the green. So what's the simple fix? Well, we always in the bunker always want to open the club face first and then apply our grip. That will allow the club face to stay open on the backswing, right through impact into our finish. Let's see what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is open that face, then apply my grip, dig my feet in, and here we go. That's the high and soft shot I'm looking for, so remember, open your club face first, then apply your grip. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week's shot is a 25-yard uphill pitch. Brian Miles has good form. Andrew Stump shows off his short game skills. Looks like he's got the speed, a little bit left of the cup, but coming back towards the hole, and that's a nice touch by Andrew Stump, well done. Clint Weldon pitching it well. Nice setup, a nice sound on that stroke. Kept your head very still, 
And a good attempt. Ron Amon tries to seize the opportunity with this shot. Running down towards the cup. That's a nice shot, Ron. Well done. Chris Webb eyes the finals with this effort to six feet, four inches. The speed looks good. This should be right next to the hole. That is winning golf by Chris Webb. But two players were better. Joe Shorn pitching it to under three feet. That looks like a beautiful attach. That should nestle right next to the cup. And look at that shot by our host, Joe Shorn. Well done. And Jim Flat wins the round in our last spot in the final with this pitch to a foot and a half. This one's got a chance to go in. Look at that touch by Jim Flat. So Flat is in. Joe Shorn, being the perfect host, graciously gave his spot to Chris Webb. So Flat and Webb will battle it out in our championship round. It takes less than 15 seconds for Adams to explain Blue's easy launch system. It's a system that launches your ball easily for more air as it flies. But we've got 30 seconds, so here's some air. Wherever you play, get more air with blue. Adams, shoot straight. Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent Maine lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. Bush Auto Group, where automotive is done right. Right car, over 1,000 vehicles in stock. Our staff cares. We want to help find the right vehicle for you. Right price. Our online market pricing tools will eliminate lengthy negotiations. Right time. When you decide it's the right time to buy or lease, Bush Auto Group will have you driving in no time. With over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock, we're sure to have the one you want. Check out BushAutoGroup.com, where automotive is done right. Prizes and tee gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Adams Golf. Wherever you play, get more air with blue. Adams, shoot straight. And by A-Head, advanced headwear, embroidery, and design. Shrixon, the journey to better. Shrixon. Lorente Golf, choice, freedom, and value. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. We are on the 16th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a slot in the Winning Golf Championship and the chance to drive home in a brand new Infinity Q50. Now the rules for the SAP Up and In Playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our Winning Golf Champion. Now our first shot in the SAP Playoff will be a 25 yard pitch shot from the first cut. Jim Flat will have the honors. Jim owns Biddle and Company Insurance Brokers, carries a five handicap, and plays most of his golf at Aronimink Golf Club. Gets to the slope, and now it comes down a little bit. And that's a terrific attempt. Looks like about seven feet from the cup. And now it's Chris Webb's turn to try and battle this challenging 16th green at beautiful White Manor Country Club. Chris serves as a regional director of PJ Willihan's Pubs, carries a 12 handicap, and plays most of his golf at Tavistock. Country Club, and he's left at about oh, 20 feet above the hole. Challenging putt, but he's got a great parting stroke. Let's see what happens. He's got the line. He's got the speed. This is very good. And Chris left himself about a foot from the hole. That's a great effort. Well, Jim Flat has about six feet to the hole. If he rolls this in, Jim is our winning golf champion. Jim Flat with a good effort. Oh, just off the edge of the cup. So we still got a little bit of golf left. Jim can tap that in for his three. Well, Chris Webb needs this for a three, and then we'll have a one-shot chip off to determine our champion. And it's in the hole. Both players have battled like champions, and now our SAP playoff comes down to one chip shot from 50 feet. Jim Flat will be first up. Jim is going with a hybrid. And look at this attempt. It's right past the cup. It's a little behind the hole. It looks like about seven feet from the hole. Now it's Chris Webb's turn. He's chosen a sandwich. Oh, it looks like he hit a little behind it, which means that Jim Flat is our winning golf champion here at White Manor Country Club. Well, Jim Flack, congratulations on becoming the first winning golf champion of 2015. I hope you had a great day with winning golf.
Oh, what a beautiful place here, Doug. Uh, White Manor Country Club is a great place to be. Uh, I'd like to thank Joe Shorn and Shorn Construction for hosting this event. Winning golf is a great program. I enjoy watching it on TV. Uh, the camaraderie with the guys was great and the girls. Um, I'm glad things worked out. Well, thank you, Jim. You are a great champion. And you may feel like your day is over because you've already won a lot of prizes. But there's one big event left, and that's a chip shot from 60 feet for a brand new Infinity Q50. Can you knock one in the hole for us? I'm going to give it my best. Well, I've got a great feeling about this leg shot. So don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. Can a business have a mind, a subconscious, a knack for predicting the future? Reflexes faster than the speed of thought. Can a business have a spirit? Can a business have a soul? Can a business be alive? Real innovation is a skin that improves greenside spin without sacrificing distance or control. The new Srixon Z-Star with Spin Skin. This is the journey to better. Bush Auto Group, where automotive is done right. Right car, over 1,000 vehicles in stock. Our staff cares. We want to help find the right vehicle for you. Right price. Our online market pricing tools will eliminate lengthy negotiations. Right time. When you decide it's the right time to buy or lease, Bush Auto Group will have you driving in no time. With over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock, we're sure to have the one you want. Check out bushautogroup.com, where automotive is done right. It's time now on Winning Golf for the Bush Auto Group Champions Chip. Check out their family of dealerships at bushautogroup.com. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Chip. Each week, our champion will attempt to hole out from 60 feet to win a gorgeous Infinity Q50. Winning Golf is thankful to have the Bush Auto Group sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We are on the 15th green at White Manor Country Club. Our champion, Jim Flat, is only 60 feet away from the cup. Well, could a miracle happen here at White Manor Country Club in week one? We'd love to start our season by giving away a new infinity. And here it comes. He's going with a hybrid. Just got the line. It's going at it. Oh, just payeth the cup. What a great effort by our champion, Jim Flat. I hope you enjoyed the first show of the season from the beautiful White Manor Country Club. White Manor is certainly first class in every way. I also want to thank our wonderful host, Joe Shorn, and his entire team for providing us with a day full of fun, camaraderie, and lots of winning golf highlights. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of excitement to share with you in 2015. So to keep up with the winning golf news, I invite you to follow Winning Golf TV on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, and of course you can catch all the shows on Comcast Sportsnet, YouTube, and our website, winninggolftv.com. Well, thanks so much for watching today's show. I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf has been brought to you by SAP. SAP, simplifying everything so you can do anything. Learn more at SAP.com. Everybody wins.